Hi, my name is Jennifer Royer and today we're going to discuss web quests and how we make one. Well, first of all, what is a web quest? According to webquest.org, as you can see here on the screen, web quests are very simple. They're basically a doable and interesting task that's scaled down for the student to work on. Um, it's not just simply the student going to the internet and researching the information and putting that information into a PowerPoint pr presentation and showing it to their class. It um, entails them to do different tasks to um, maybe play a game or search for in information. It um, allows them to synthesize, analyze, problem solve, cr be creative, and um, use judgment. As you can see on this website here, they talk about creating web quests and they also talk about a quest garden. Quest gardens are supposed to be an easier way of creating your web quests. Um, web quests, as you can see here on the bottom, are basically from preparing them from scratch from, say, um, a software such as Dreamweaver or Com Composer or other types of software just like this. However, in this class, we would rather be able to create a simple web quest, and that would be what we're going to do today with Quest Garden. Now, as you scroll down here, you'll see that um, this is a uh, we can get a 30-day free trial, and that's what we're all going to do. Um, and here are some sample web quests created with web Quest Garden. First one is Dinosaurs Before Dark, and you'll recognize the picture. This is on the front page of this lesson. And if we just go down through here, it'll kind of show us what a web quest or a quest garden is. Here you have the introduction. It tells you about what we're going to learn about. Then the task. The task tells you what we're actually going to do. And in this task, um, the job for the student is to research the dinosaurs they meet in the book and then to journal that. Next is the process. And this shows the student the process, reading chapter one, talking about it, finding it on a map, reading chapter two, learning about it, and so on. Uh, after the student's done that, they need to evaluate it. The student may need to use a rubric to evaluate the web quest, or sometimes the teacher will have the students evaluate, evaluate each other. Conclusion, this just basically tells the student that they did a great job. Credits. This is basically like the reference or the resource page and teacher page. This is a teacher deduction. This is for uh, the teacher who is using this lesson for their own students, um, perhaps the one, someone who hasn't actually created this website, but another teacher who wants to utilize it. So this here shows you what a web quest is. And as you can see, there are other ones right here. So let's go ahead and enter the site. And as you can see here, shows you what's going on here. And then we'll go. Everybody can go in to register for a free trial. Okay, once you go through all these steps here, account setup, about you location, and once you've completed that, you'll be able to go even further and create your web quest.